Was the notebook really here? Yeah, it sh should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. You're making a real mess there. I got hungry, so I've been eating. I, I think your friend wanted my leftovers. Okay, well, good night. Mom? Yes? It's nothing. If you say so. Good night. You've got guts to take a nap here, kid. You! What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? Huh? Why do you... Word of advice, when you run from home, don't bring your student ID, even if you do hide it in your jacket. You can't just take people's things! So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? How about this then? What kind of business do you have with David? I'm asking you what you want with David. Resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relation to him? I'm his cousin! Now stop snooping already! One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Huh? Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Give that back! Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not being threatened. I think. Huh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? It's none of your business. 
Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. You come with me. Huh? And why should I? Because I'm... Hmm? Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared walking around here on my own. <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh? If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, we'll always be okay. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. And all this snow. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't, but I kept insisting. You hit your head, kid. If you really think your rat's talking to you, you ought to visit a hospital. If Pop doesn't... doesn't come back, what do I do? It's so cold, and I'm all alone. What if... Hey, now. Don't cry. You're 14, right? Can't go crying that easily. I'm not crying. Listen, this building's full of rats. Seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? His right leg's bent. And there's a little fur missing on it. Alright. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. You can keep searching some, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. You're not staying here past nightfall. Got that? You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Just, who are you? I'm a detective. And why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. Well, what's your name? Keith. Now get on your way. Hey, stop digging around in there. D don't threaten me! Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although, my dad will give it back. Um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. After millionaire Jim Court bought up the forest, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something, and locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that'd be me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here, so I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old, so lots have been lost to time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh yeah, shadows everywhere, because it's dark. And you're freaked out, so you think they're moving. Ah. 
Hey, Keith. Did you unlock the door? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. Pop? Pop! Good, I found you. C come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just... You can't get down? W wait there. I'll get you down. Away, Pop. Sheesh, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop! Stay away from me! Y you're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stared a hold for me earlier. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Huh? You asked... D david I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. H hey wait a sec! I said wait! Let go, you stupid girl!
Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself! So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking. So I decided to help him look. A truck driver near the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone. So I wondered if he might have been here. David's been super worried, so... What were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet! I was gonna go back eventually, but that isn't important right now! What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just... I can't leave until I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. Alright, in that case I'll help you look. Huh? R really I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough.